Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I am Chris from iLather.com and today I'm going to kick off a blade comparison series. And before I get into it, let me just tell you briefly uh, about my process when I buy things. What I like to do is surf around and find things that I'm interested in trying uh, or testing and I read just enough for it to pique my interest. And if I'm interested, I will buy it. From that point, I don't like to read a lot of reviews or watch reviews. The reason being is I feel that puts preconceived notions in my head. So when I'm trying these things, uh, you guys are getting my genuine and organic reaction. That's my process. I don't expect it to be of yours. I don't suggest it. It's just, it's just what I like to do as a video blogger. I like to show you what's really going on. So the way I'm going to do this with these two blades is I am going to use a Derby Extra in one red tip which happens to be Delta Echo, and the Derby Premium in this red tip. So I'm going to use the exact same razor minus the coating. I'm going to put uh, one blade in each, extra in one, premium in one. I'll split my face, shave, and see how it goes. Now, a little bit about these blades. These blades are both produced in Turkey. One is considerably more expensive than the other. Usually you can get the Derby Extra for about eight to 10 bucks for 100. The Derby, Derby Premium, which is new, is uh, about 15 bucks. So it is considerably more expensive than the Derby Extra. Now I know a lot of people think the Derby Extra stink, but I would suggest most people used to start out with Derby Extra because it came with their first razor, especially if you used an Edwin Jagger back when they used to give Derby. So when you're first starting, you don't know what you're doing, you know, and you're, you're sort of getting a poor shave and you blame the blade. I think Derby is a perfectly good blade for a couple of shaves. Um, I actually revisited it a couple of years ago and it wasn't bad, as bad <laughs> as I originally thought. Uh, I have used the Derby Premium the last few days and I've been very impressed. It has been very smooth. What I want to do is use these two bad boys together and see if there's really a difference or it's just marketing. As you can see, the Derby Premium comes in much nicer box, uh, it's jazzed up. When you read the writing on here, um, it basically says the same stuff, except the Derby Premium says made from Swedish steel on that stamp. It both has the same type of coating. Just about everything else is the same except for the packaging, the price, and the fact that this says it's made from Swedish steel. Will it make a difference? I don't know, but we're going to find out. We will start a series on this starting uh, tomorrow morning. And again, we'll put one blade each in these razors. We'll shave and see how it goes. And we will keep these blades um, so we can put them in this razor again and use it down the road, see how it goes on the second and third shave, see you know, how far we can get with it, and find out, at least for me, if there's a significant difference between the $15 Derby premiums or the $8 to $9 Derby extra? I don't know the answer, but we will find out. One thing I'll mention is I don't think I'm going to go through uh, the series on this consecutive in consecutive days. I will try this tomorrow and then I'll skip a few days and then come back to it again and then skip a few days just to mix it up a little bit. So I hope this will uh, be fun and I'll be trying this with other blades too just to match, up, match them up and see how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you will join me again tomorrow afternoon when I post a video. Until then, let's make America shave again.